Welcome to Crash Course 28. I'm Sammy Chimonihihi Aliubi from the Eagle One Development Team. And uh, today we're going to be looking at being able to shift the work plane and uh, also quick arches that uh, are going to be already smoothed, allowing us to eventually build homes from the exterior to the in interior. And it's going to be aesthetically pleasing as we're not limited to just a uh, perpendicular work plane, as I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start off by expanding this wall. Let's uh, try to line it up with uh, an angle that's going to match this horizontal plane on this uh, face of our terrain. And you're going to see why. It's going to make things nice and easy uh, let's see if I can pull this out there we go and uh, I'm just gauging it with my eye I'm gonna pull out this 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 and this edge as well and uh, let's match it over here All right, this edge is slightly off so just to keep things aligned I'm just gonna pull it down so that it matches uh, we are trying to keep these as square as possible it means 128 by 128 but for this case it's fine if we have a little bit of a rectangular shape to it okay let me lower the grid size to 8 just so I can match these vertices and now what I have here is I've expanded this little courtyard and I've also given us an angle to work with now what I see people do is a lot of people will then try to build build structures and they're going to build it and then they're going to try to rotate it and, and then now they'll say okay how do I expand this and then maybe they'll switch to local mode but even in local mode they'll have to reorient it and redrag it this is, is not how you should be building and it actually is a lot of reasons why people end up sticking to 90 degree angles so I want to I want you guys to break away from that here's what we're going to do come up here okay make sure first of all you're in the world space and next to that is a pick work plane tool okay click that or you can press shift Q now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on the floor near this wall don't actually kick the wall because if you click the wall weird things happen click on the floor and what you're gonna notice is this is gonna orient itself and it's gonna be where the wall is look at that green line okay what that green line shows is which wall is parallel to it so if I press F2 notice this green line has now oriented itself to this wall and the rest of the level has been shifted in accordance so now I can actually work on this and look it's gonna be on the grid it's gonna allow us to make things that are nice easy and uh, easy uh, and fun to work with okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm actually gonna extract this wall uh, alt N uh, let's uh, go control H let's just hide it uh, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and work Work here uh, by uh, manipulating some of these so let's uh, go ahead and uh, we're gonna create a scaffold I pressed V to make a loop cut through uh, F let's go ahead and separate these two and uh, let's just quickly uh, try to build ourselves an arch that uh, it's going to be aesthetically pleasing to look at. Okay, so here I've got uh, as much as I can. Even if these numbers are decimals, it's because when we created the wall, it was on that grid. So some of your numbers are going to be a little bit off, but the rest of it, now that it's lined up, should be something that we can work with. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's do the following. Let's double click. Let's actually lower this. And uh, here's what I'm uh, going to be creating. I'm going to be creating a frame for this archway. And I'm going to do that by deleting this, selecting this. Let's press Y. Uh, let's go ahead and pull it up. Okay, perfect. Now, oh, oops, got to make sure if I don't press enter, it's not going to keep it. So make sure we press enter. Okay, there we go. Now, um, if I wanted to fill this hole in, you got to notice this object is not a part of it. So if I double click it, we're not going to be able to get that hole fill option. So I'm going to hide this for now. Um, and uh, um, actually, you know what? Let's delete it. I don't even want this face. So let's delete this face uh, and let's uh, build a new scaffold on that where it was. Let's go grid size down to eight and then select these two press b to bridge it now if i double click inside of here i'm going to have a hole to fill now i can press p okay this is an end gone okay we're going to come back to it in a second uh, but i want to press uh, alt n on this door frame this is actually what i want control h let's hide the rest if i double click the edges i'm going to get the interior highlighted but i don't want this bottom edge so hold down control let's deselect that change the grid to a size of two okay this is a fun technique that gcaf taught me and it's going to give us really quick arch doorways that are already smooth and ready to go press n change the grid size to four press n again change the grid size back to two press n <clears throat> notice what i've done is i've created the out scaffold and it's already been cut up ready for smooth edges hold down shift control uh, not control but shift and uh, we're gonna extrude it out two units shift okay go for another uh, uh, six units so now we have eight units total now select the interior face do the same thing hold down shift pull it back to hold down shift 
Okay, that's eight. And I'm actually going to go another eight just so we can get that interior frame created. Okay, now I'm going to delete this. Okay, and for these two, I'm just going to extrude it up holding down shift. Uh, we'll create a uh, nice little lip. Now I'm just doing this uh, to delete the interior faces because I don't need these interior faces. So I just want to make sure that I keep everything nice and neat. Uh, that way we only have faces that we want. All right, press U to unhide this. And let me just pull this out so that way it's not stuck inside of that frame. Okay, looking pretty good, right? But check this out. We've already created the scaffold for this. So let's double click on these. And all we got to do is press J. Okay, press J. Look at this. It smoothed it out. I can go ahead and I can do a UV peel. Click world space. We learned this the other day. And now what I have is an archway that is lined up. Okay, I've now started to create a brand new scaffold for uh, what is going to end up being a nice little house that is uh, not at all lined up with the rest of this world. This little courtyard that we created and this quick archway is going to allow us on our next tutorials to really start to sell that this is organic and not aligned with 90 degrees. Now, a lot of people are scared to, to try and, and attempt this, uh, but it's important for you to understand how this work plane is going to be functioning. Okay, so here's a top down view. Now, if I want to reset this, all I got to do is press Alt Shift Q. Okay. Press F2. Now look at the plane. Okay, it goes back to its normal orientation. The rest of the world, if I try to build something, okay, it's not going to build it lined up with this wall anymore. Okay, it's building it based on what we started with. I hope you guys found this useful. And in our next tutorial, we're going to continue building out the rest of this. I will see you guys in our next crash course.